Hey guys, today I am going to be taking my girlfriend's Honda Civic to uh, go get dyno tuned. It has nothing on it right now except for a cold air intake and an exhaust, but we just got a Honda to tune her in, so we're going to see what it makes for baseline power, and then after we get it tuned up with the stage one map, intake, you know, tune, all that kind of stuff, then we're going to go back and see how much power we've increased. So I haven't seen a video like this. She has a 1.8, it is not the SI. And again, you know, no mods except for all the stuff you can see exteriorly. And then a Megan Racing exhaust and just like a generic eBay brand intake. So we're gonna take it to the dyno now, see how much it makes stock, and then get the tuner on and we'll go from there. All right guys, so we're at the dyno place, it's right in there. We got the little Civic here. Uh, this is a diesel shop, so most of them are diesel, so I kind of feel a little out of place, you know, having a little front-wheel drive Honda. But, you know, just doing it for the test, so we'll see how it goes. Alright, got the little Civic on the dyno. Is your car? That's mine. What are you thinking it's going to pull? Uh, maybe 130. <laughs> Thanks for bringing it out, we appreciate it, man. Yeah, of course. How fast will third go? Huh? How fast will third go? Uh, I'm not sure actually. I haven't messed it yet. So. Oh yeah, 123. <laughs> yeah, barely, barely did it. All right, guys. So here's the results after that dyno. Its max power is 123.4. So you know that's about what we were expecting. Um, so today, this is actually a couple months after we ran this test. I just haven't gotten around to filming the video, but today we're going to go back and uh, get it checked up again. I've got the Honda data on there now, and I'm running the base map with the in-gen intake. So we're going to go back and see if that's making any difference or not, and then, yeah, we'll look at the results and see if getting a Honda is actually worth it. Alright guys, we got the Honda on the dyno. So... Let's see what she's making.
that power. Alrighty guys, so here's the final result after the dino tune, not tune, dino run. Again, all I had on there was a base map with the engine intake, so, you know, not doing too much. Uh, and we actually ended up losing quite a bit of power. Um, the max power that we made that day was only 118.9. And there's a yellow line in here, you can kind of see it, unfortunately, you can't really tell, but... Anyway, yeah, the car was... For some reason, with that tune, it was super inconsistent. Because uh, as you can see, the first run was 112, second one, one was 118, and the final was 106. Which, I mean, that's pretty bad, actually. Here's the original run that we did, which was just stock, no tune, no Honda, and nothing. 120, 123, and 123 again. Pretty consistent and good. That's, that's bad. And that's after the Honda, too, which, I mean... You know, I would have figured it would at least, you know, stay the same, if not give it a couple extra horsepower, but instead it's actually taken away anywhere between, like, 5 and 10 horsepower, which is pretty significant. I mean, if you go from the lowest here, which is 106, and the lowest there, which is 120, that's a 15 horsepower drop. So, I mean, you know, we plan on doing more to the car, like getting bigger injectors and you know, a camshaft and all that, so we'll need the Honda later on, but, I mean, currently, it's not looking good, so I'm just gonna revert it back to stock, and we'll actually gain some power that way. Anyway, I hope this helps you guys, um, you know, not discouraging you to not buy Honda or anything, but I'm just showing you, like, this is the result that we got from our, um, R18 Civic, so, now you know. Anyway, if you liked it, uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.